Hello again, this is John, host of MGTOW is Freedom. I couldn't leave this one alone, I had to address it again. It's called Opportunity. The problems with opportunity. You know, a lot of people think, you know, that opportunity is uh, fortuitous. It's a good thing, right? It's a good opportunity. Well, sadly to say, and I'm sad to inform you that there are bad opportunities as well. What is opportunity? And if you don't have a mental definition right now, if you can't define it to yourself, then you've got something you need to fucking rectify pronto. Uh, so stop the video, go look up opportunity. But I'm going to tell you right now, it's a set of circumstances that allows something else to happen. You know, if you want to have fun and play in your head, what the fuck is a circumstance? Right? But we'll just go with that. An opportunity is a circumstance by which something is possible. Something can happen. You know, when, as a man, right, as a free man, we look for opportunities in life. Because we can turn those opportunities through our decisions and our behavior, turn them into something good, right? Turn it into a, a job, uh, just relationships. Everything in life is about opportunity. But we need to understand that when it comes to women, they also have opportunities. And the thing about an opportunity is you have to act on it in order for it to become reality. Right? You have to apply everything about it to reality. But there is a problem with opportunities. And it's how difficult life is as a man. Now you're going, wait a minute. Is that, you know, what are you talking about, John? I'm talking about feminist bitches, right? Gold digging whores. They're looking for opportunities. That's what they are looking for. You know, and so they'll find them. They'll find an opportunity to get you to, to date them, to talk to them. They'll find an opportunity, a way to create a situation whereby they can capitalize on your good fortune in life. That becomes their opportunity. You as a man make opportunities and make your way in the world. You know, gold digging whores, their opportunity is finding someone who can give them what they want for as little effort on their part. That's what happens. It's all about opportunity. Now, there's there's several different ways that we as men are are victimized by by feminist opportunity. Number one is a man's inexperience in understanding what women really want. Men out there that don't know. You guys as MGTOW and experienced men need to get a hold of these younger fucking guys by the collar and tell them, feminists want to destroy you. They'll get into a relationship with you and they'll use fancy words like love and care and future and all those fancy fucking platitudes. That's not what they want. What they want is to destroy a man. And they and, and people can argue, John, they don't really want to destroy men. It's just it's just the way life works out. Well that's bullshit. They want to destroy a man and they are so fucking ignorant they don't even know that that's what they're setting out to do. All they need though, and we can talk more about feminists and how they don't even know they're setting out to destroy men. But if you accept that, just accept the premise of it and then see that all they need is the opportunity and they will do it right so how do they do that they need more opportunities they need you to date them and accept them have them as your girlfriend their wife whatever as soon as they're in your life they will find opportunities and through those opportunities the circumstances will be right for them to make something happen and a feminist is not looking out for you. The feminist is looking out for herself. She's looking out for herself. She wants something. First thing she needs to do is get rid of your friends. She's gonna find an opportunity to do that. So what are the best ways? What are the most opportunistic ways for a woman, for a feminist whore? 
to take away your friends, to change anything in your life, to get you to let her to move in, to get you to do things with her that you otherwise would not, to get you to agree to something that is against your nature. What is the opportunity that women need? Well, they need you men to be in a weakened state of mind. A weakened state of mind. What do men do all day? They bust their fucking asses and they rack their brains. That's what we do. What does that do to the man? That fucking makes you tired. You go home at the end of the day, physically and mentally exhausted. What's the first fucking person you see when you walk through the door of your sanctuary? Your girlfriend. And if she's a feminist, that is her golden fucking opportunity to make change. That is the circumstance she needs and they fucking know it. Understand this, men. This is how they get you, right there. You're tired. You're exhausted and they start their fucking game where they needle at you and needle at you and needle at you. They'll put your friends down. They'll make fun of them. They'll shame you and guilt you. Do you want to hang out with that guy the rest of your life? He's a loser. Or do you want me? Right? I'm looking out for you. I'm here cooking you dinner. You need me, not him. You need to get him out of your life. He smokes weed. He doesn't have a good job. Do you want to be like him or do you want to be like the doctor down the street? And they start fucking pushing you. Right? Using guilt. Using shame. Your mom said that she wanted to have grandchildren by the time you were age 25. And you're 27. And you don't have any grandchildren. You should be ashamed. And you're so fucking exhausted from busting your ass making a living. But that's what they do, and you start to believe them. You start to listen to them. They may not win in the first round. They may not win in the second or the fourth or the eighth. But if you know anything about professional boxing matches, man, it's 15 fucking rounds. And at some point, they're going to knock you down. They're going to knock you the fuck out. Because that's what feminist bitches do. They come after you while you're weak. Right. Muhammad Ali could have never taken on Ken Norton unless he was at 100% max. Can you imagine Muhammad Ali going after fucking Ken Norton or George Foreman? Any of them. Right, when he had a fucking flu? Or after running 30 miles in a marathon which he'd never done before? No. Be like, that. Ah, it's fucking not fair. He's exhausted. Feminists use that. That is their opportunity. It is a circumstance by which they can make changes, by which they can create or do something that they want. Men, you need to understand that.